Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Sports Talk. I'm joined by my very good friend Barry Lewis. And Barry, we made some predictions last night that, looking over them, I don't think they panned out very well. Oh, uh, I think mine came out okay. I would want to do better, but they're not they're not terrible. So who did you have? You had the Rangers winning 4-2. How did I had, that go? I had the Rangers 4-2. They won, what was it, 3-1, to one, I believe. So okay. I, I got the Rangers, though, so that's a dub. That's a dub, okay. And then you took the Capitals 3-2. Uh, yeah, I took the Caps 3-2. That turned to a dumpster fire. They were up... <laughs> I think they were up 3 nothing, so it was panning out well, and then they ended up losing 5-3, so that didn't go well. And then in the Tampa Bay game, you took them winning 4-1? That was probably my closest. Tampa won 5-2. So. Okay. Awesome. And Montreal winning 5-3? Again, a close one. They won 6-2, but I didn't predict the Habs to score six goals, and I also didn't predict the Canucks to suck yesterday, but, you know... <laughs> Happens uh, to the best of us. Happens to all of us, yeah. And then you took Winnipeg over Calgary 3-2. How did that pan out? That burns my soul to say that Calgary wins. That's gross. Now, How does that I, make you feel? Please don't beat around the bush. They, they played good. They, I can't even be that mad. They played a good game. Jets had a ton of opportunities to win. And then just Goudreau in the shootout looked gross. So that's how the cookie crumbled in that game. So I never got your picks for the basketball games, though. So in the Charnet miami game, you took Miami, I think, correct? I took Miami, and they just – I did not expect that from Miami. I liked Bam Adebayo, and I liked Jimmy Butler, and then that just took a turn for the worst. Lost by eight. And then in the Lakers versus Atlanta, who did you get there? I, I took the Lakers. That was a pretty easy one. I love how my the biggest story of that game is still that fan that just heckled <laughs> the two quarters. That was funny, but um, and then Cleveland versus Minnesota. That was a close game. Uh, Cleveland winning by two. How did you do on that one? Cleveland pulled it out by two. I, I got the Cavs on the win. I I predicted six, so I was pretty close, but they got the win with two. So okay, um, so Milwaukee over Portland, one thirty four to one hundred six. That how I, well did we do there? I thought that would be a big closer game, but I still got the Bucks with the win. Awesome. Uh, so Houston beating the Oklahoma City Thunder, 136 to 106. How was your point spread there? I picked the Thunder. That was not That was not close. <laughs> that I, was not close at all. I picked the Thunder by like, I, think about, I believe 12, and then they just got blown out, and I was like, okay, nice. Thanks, boys. Did did you see Shai Gilgis Alexander's uh, shooting? He was efficient. It doesn't get much better than that. Um, then the Chicago Bulls beat up on the Knicks, as everyone always does, 110 to 102. <laughs> I thought that game would be a lot farther than it was. I give it to the Knicks. But, yeah, I, I still got the Bulls put on that one. Okay. Uh, Sacramento against New Orleans, and Sacramento wins 118 to 109. I wanted the Pels. I really like Zion Williamson. He's quickly becoming one of my favorite players in the NBA. I think he's a bit hurt too often, man. I think he's hurt a bit too often. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe one day he turns into LeBron. But I'm I'm starting to see a little bit more Blake Griffin in him, in my opinion. That, that's, uh, that, if Blake Griffin's the downside, though, that's not really a bad career either. But he's no. got. If he wants to stay around, he's gonna flip like Blake Griffin did, like him in the Pistons. Now, he's such a versatile big. If yeah. Zion wants to stay in the league, you got to flip to that. Doesn't get much better. We had Memphis taking on San Antonio with Memphis winning 133 to 102. Me- Memphis, wa- Memphis was my pick. San Antonio's been on the decline since their big three retired, which is not fun to watch. Those were, those three with Tony and Manu, they were just great to watch. But mm-hmm. now with the fire, they just got to turn around. But the I think the Grizz are a really strong up and coming team, not going to lie. John Morant, love that kid. Uh, the, more, a beast. the more I watch the Grizzlies, the more I just like those old Vancouver Grizzly jerseys. <laughs> like my favorite thing about that team. Awesome. And then the last game was Phoenix versus Dallas. The Suns versus the Mavericks. That was super close. And I actually watched part of the ending of the game. 109 to 108. Not in overtime either. That's regulation. That was close. Like, that was clutch. I, I had the Mavs to win because Luka is going to be an MVP sooner rather than later. 
Yeah. But then Devin Booker is um you can't forget about him ever. He's gross. He gets the ball in his hands and he will destroy your night. It is disgusting. So what we're going to do now here, Barry, is we're going to go with tonight's games. And I was able to find the odds makers, uh, what their predictions are. So we're going to start with the hockey games. Right. They have they have Columbus beating Dallas by one. Are you taking are you taking Dallas or Columbus? Columbus and Dallas by one. Patrick yeah. Line is he's in the lineup tonight, isn't he? I think so. Yes. Yes, he is. So. First game. I would agree with that. I would go Jackets like 4 3. So I would go four, Jackets. Three. I would go Jackets. Okay. Second game, we have Vancouver and Montreal with Vancouver being a plus one favorite, winning by one. What are you thinking? Van's a plus one. Oh, man. Against Montreal. That's That's a hot take. Oh uh, yeah, I was I was thinking the game's gonna play out just like last night. Montreal's just gonna Montreal's depth with three lines that can go out and just have speed and score. I, I was taking the Habs six three. Really? Okay, so you're taking the under on that one, and you're taking Montreal to win. Taking Montreal to win that one, yeah. Okay, uh, Chicago and Carolina with Chicago being a two point favorite. Chicago's a two point favorite against Carolina. Yep. Man, I'm going under again. I had Carolina three to one. Oh, really? Man. Yeah. I, okay. I, I love what Carolina is doing. I have a permanent despise for them for what they did to me in my childhood. But <laughs> that I think that team is quickly going to become a contender. They remind me a lot of the Detroit Pistons from the early 2000s. They're just scrappy, man. They're you can't ever rule them out. Weird, and yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Arizona and St. Louis. Arizona is a one-point favorite. Oh, I would take the over on that. I'm taking Arizona with the one-point favorite for sure. Okay. Uh, Calgary versus Winnipeg, with Winnipeg being a one-point favorite. Winnipeg's a one-point favorite. Yeah, I'll yep. take Winnipeg. I'll take Winnipeg, like four to four to three, four to two, something like that. Okay. Minnesota at Colorado, and Minnesota is a plus one favorite. That one's shocking to me. I find that Colorado is a stronger team, but Minnesota, plus one favorite. I think the one weakness with Colorado is their goaltending. Mm -hmm. Their their decor in this year or next year is going to be gross. Like when you have Kale McCarr and Bowen Byram running your your power play and your defense score, you're going to be disgusting. And then we don't even need to talk about (laughs) their stars up front. Like they are Mm -hmm. gross. Uh, we're going under. We're going Avs. Avs will win that one. Okay. Ottawa is a one-point favorite against Edmonton. That I don't understand either. Ottawa, <laughs> Ottawa looked okay in the beginning of the year. Like I thought they could have some hope and make some noise. But then just seeing them completely tailspin against Vancouver, Montreal, and us. Uh, our game was closer than people think. It just happened that Oilers got a bunch of good goals and then four for four on the power play or some absurd like that Mm -hmm. uh i'm going under i'm going to order is gonna win okay and then lastly anaheim and la with anaheim being a plus one favorite yeah i'll go anaheim i'll go three two anaheim okay uh my picks here i'm gonna take columbus over dallas because i like patrick laney i'm gonna take montreal over vancouver because montreal somehow got their stuff together uh chicago and carolina i think i'm with you i'm gonna go with carolina on this one uh, I think they're just a scrappier team. Arizona versus St. Louis. I actually haven't been paying attention to either of those teams really a lot closer than I probably should. Um, so I'm going to take Arizona. Uh, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with your gut feeling, and I'm going to go with Arizona on this one. Got to agree with Biz Nasty, man. He's nuts. Got to. Yeah, it doesn't get much better. <laughs> um, Calgary versus Winnipeg. I again, I I see a lot of scrap, a lot of dog in Winnipeg. So that's who I'm going to go with on that one. Minnesota versus Colorado. I think that one's going to be closer than most people think, but I'm going to take Colorado. They just have too many offensive weapons. Their first two lines are ridiculously deep. Um, Edmonton over Ottawa. I'm going to take Edmonton on that one. They, again, Dreisaitl and McDavid have just been beasts. I mean, they had, what, six and five the last time they played? That doesn't get... It's crazy. And I think Dreisaitl is very quickly proving himself to be not only a, an adept goal scorer, but also a playmaker. And then lastly, Anaheim versus Los Angeles. I'm going to take Anaheim as well on that one. So that's 
that's what we have for for NHL games. Now for NBA games, are you ready to go? I am. Only six All right. low, low, low games tonight, but we got six, so. Yeah. So um, we have Toronto taking on Orlando, with Orlando being a five-point favorite. Orlando being a five favorite. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take Orlando um, over on the five points because Bam and Debayo is playing okay, but OG Anunobi is hurt, and that's huge. That is huge. Yeah, I'll get with you. I'll take Orlando on the over on that one. Okay. Uh, probably the only game I'm going to be watching tonight because I have stuff to do, but the Clippers, my Clippers taking on the Brooklyn Nets with the Clippers being a one-point favorite. I don't know, man, if they can shut down. Brooklyn has a lot of Brooklyn has a lot of offensive options. So if they can shut down James Harden, Kyrie Irving, KD, even remotely, I think Ellie can squeak this one out. They, they have a lot of offense on Brooklyn, but they haven't gelled. They don't yeah. look they don't look together at all. Like even when all three of them are on, like Kyrie and KD look kind of gelled, and then Harden's just there and he just gets the ball and he just ignores the two of them. So mm-hmm. I feel I feel like they'll figure it out come playoff time, but I'll take the clips on this one too, yeah. Okay. So we have the Memphis Grizzlies taking on the Indiana Pacers with the Grizzlies being a six and a half point favorite. Oh. I'm gonna take Memphis on this one. Indiana is kind of struggling a little bit, I think. Uh, trying to find the rhythm, so I'm taking Memphis on this one. I'm hammering the over on Memphis. Here we go, Memphis. <laughs> uh, so Portland taking on Washington. Um, Bradley Beal has been amazing, but so, I don't know, man. Something's not clicking right there, and Damian Lillard is just too much contained. So I'm going to go with Portland on the plus two on this one. If, you, if your star is on up against... Dame Lil, he's going to kill you. So I'm, I'm going Portland. Okay. We have Boston taking on Golden State, the Celtics versus the Warriors, with the Warriors being three and a half point favorites. That's honestly kind of surprising to me because Golden State has been playing really well considering, but they're still without... I, I feel like there's they're missing Clay a lot more than people think. Um, so yeah. I'm actually going to take the under. I'm going to take Boston on this one. Um, the under, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna still go over on Golden State. I'll okay. still go. Clay, Clay or not Clay? Curry can click in any quarter and just score 28 from the arc without with ease. So yeah, okay. yeah I'll go Curry on the over. And the last game of the night is Detroit taking on Utah, with the Pistons being nine and a half point favorites. That again to me is really crazy, because Spida Mitchell is a beast. Yeah, um, it really is. I I think I think what's going to happen is that the Pistons are going to scrap one out. They're going to win, but it's going to be it's going to be like two or three points. That's that's my yeah. gut feeling. I'm going I'm going the under, but Detroit's going to win, but under twelve, so Detroit's going to win. Awesome. Well, those are our picks for today. Tune in tomorrow at the same time uh, as I talk to Barry some more about our past picks. See what happened. See how we played out and go forward from there. And if you enjoy, please like and comment and all that fun stuff. And hopefully we can keep this going through the semester because it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.